Hey guys, Retro Gamer here today. I'm going to show you my PlayStation game collection that I got so far. But also, uh, also, before I start, I'll have to give a shout out to a few friends of mine that have uh, watched my videos recently. That's uh, Michael Agrees, Matthew, uh, Mark Agrees, and Stephen Pascoe. So, thanks guys for watching my videos and supporting my channel. So, I'm going to start off with this. I've had this wallet for years and it's also got some loose playstation games in here that also I ain't got cases for. I'm going to start and show you this one on playstation, V Valley. So I ain't got the, the case of the damage on it so I'll put them into a wallet so that's, uh, you can see it, V Valley on playstation. Next I'm going to show you another rally game. PlayStation and that's Valley Championship. Pretty decent rally game. Also, the other rally games that are decent on PlayStation, that's uh, the Conor McRae series. Pretty decent game. Next, one I'm going to show you it's a classic game on the PlayStation. If you've played it on Mega Drive, then we've got to play it on PlayStation as well. That spot goes to Hollywood on PlayStation. Next, I'm going to show you on PlayStation after this game I got given. And that's uh, Stuart Little T. I got for some reason, I don't know why I got to give this game, but it's a game, a game's a game. Next, I'm going to show you is another game that I got given, and that's Disney's Pixar Monsters Inc. on PlayStation. Another good game, possibly the rest on PS2 as well. Another Disney game on PlayStation, and that's Disney's Tarzan on the PlayStation. Another decent game on the PlayStation. But the last game I'm going to show you that I've got in the uh, wallet. It's a bowling game on PlayStation, but I don't really like bowling games, but it's uh, Kings of Bowling 2 on PlayStation. So, yeah, that's it. That's. That's that out of the wallet. Actually, this wallet, I won it in a competition. When, when PS2 first came out, I won this in a competition and I won a, a messenger bag, but unfortunately that got uh, damaged and ripped, so I suppose, but obviously I've, kept, I've had this since the early 2000s. So next, I'm going to show you my uh, boxed PlayStation games that I have in my collection. I'm going to start off with Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. On PlayStation, I'll show you the back. I'll just quickly show you there's the uh, manual for it, and then there's the disc. Pretty decent game, Legacy of Kane. Next one I'm going to show you is a good game, another good game on PlayStation, and that's Alien Resurrection. I'm just going to show you the back. Another decent game. Let's see. There's a manual and there's a disc for it. I'm going to try and get Alien Trilogy at some point on PlayStation. Next one I'm going to show you is a classic game on PlayStation. That's Team Ready 2. I'm going to try and get all Team Ready games on PlayStation at some point. So hopefully it's not complete, it's just the disc. You see it would be good if it had a manual, but it's just the disc. Next one is another classic game on PlayStation and that's Oddworld Aid Odyssey. A classic game on PlayStation. Let's show you the back of there and then there's the manual for it. And there's the disc. Classic game, Odd World. Next one, and also this is a recent pickup that I got on PlayStation, and that's Delta Force: Urban Warfare. So I think I never heard of this game before. I've never seen it on PlayStation, but luckily I got it for six quid in TGX. So I've got to buy it. Let's see, that's the manual for it, and there's the disc. The other. If you ever played this game before, let me know down in the comments what it's like because I won't mind uh, giving it a shot at some point. 
Also, this is another recent recent game that I picked up as well on PlayStation. It's uh, Spin Jam. This one I've never heard of before either. It's a bit like uh, Bubble Bubble on PlayStation. That's pretty uh, odd game. I've never come across this game before. And there's the manual for it. And there's the disc. So if you ever played this game before, play it. let me know down in the comments. Don't look off because it's a good game and not start playing now. Next one, obviously, this is another classic game that I re that I played on the I played the original on Super Nintendo on, and that on Mega Drive, and that's uh, Bubsy 3D on PlayStation. Bit awkward with controls, but it's a decent 3D platformer. And there's the book. And there's the disc. <laughs> if you got this game on PlayStation, then obviously it's a pretty decent title. Next one on PlayStation that I've had for a while, and that's Harry Potter and the Force of Storm on PlayStation. There's the back of the case, and let's quickly show you there's the uh, manual. And there's the disc. Next one, this is a classic as well that I picked up, even though the case is a bit cracked and battered, and this is uh, on PlayStation, and that's Final Fantasy VII. Show you the back. And also there's uh, disc one and two. And then there's uh, disc 3, and for some reason they've got a demo disc of Final Fantasy X instead of uh, Final Fantasy VIII. So we've had this before, maybe they must have lost it and replaced it with a Final Fantasy X demo. But, oh well. And I paid £12 for this, but I think last year. Pretty decent game. I'll say next to I'll say these are classic games on PlayStation, and that's uh, Gran Turismo, the Dual Driving Simulator. Pretty decent racing game. I'll show you the back. Sadly, no manual, but there's the disc. Next one I'm going to show you is the sequel to Gran Turismo, the Gran, Gran Turismo T on PlayStation. I'll show you the back of the case. And then there's also I got also T manuals. Yeah. And then there's T discs here. Right, and that's it's arcade mode and GT mode. Pretty decent driving simulator game. I think I paid three quid for the Gun Twist mode games. The next one I'm going to show you that I picked up as well that last year, and that's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 on PlayStation. I'm going to try and get rest of Tony Hawk's on PlayStation and probably PS2 as well. So it's back of the case. And there's the. Uh, manual and then there's the disc if you can see it. Pretty decent Tony Hawk's game on PlayStation. The last one I'm going to show you on PlayStation that I've had a while and that's uh, SimCity 2000. Pretty decent sim game. Let's quickly show you the back. Show you the big manual that you get with it. Pretty sick. And then there's the uh, this. So yeah, hope you, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and catch you next time.